Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with another fun break here. 2020 Gold Rush uh, autographed full-sized helmets, football helmets. Hall of Fame edition. This is uh, all four, so this is the case right here. It's four full-size helmets in there. One spot gets you two players on this big list right here. So a lot of, a lot of interesting players. Good luck to everyone here. So let's grab everyone's names and double you up. So you'll see Adam Kupperman's last spot mojo star next to his name once and then twice. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. All the players are right here. And let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Six and a five, 11 times for names and players. One, two, three. Ten and eleventh and final time. After eleven, we got Dwayne down to Dean. All right, six and five, eleven times for the players. One, two. Nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. After eleven, we got Tony Dorsett down to Fran Tarkenton. And and put your thinking caps on, folks, for bragging rights. I'll play I'll play a little bit of Who Am I? All right, so here's the list, just as is. And then I'll alphabetize by your first names. So you know who you got. So Aaron Pettit, there's your group of players right there. Nice, Adam. Alec. Ben. Brittany. Dean. Dwayne. Harrison. Jarrell, Justin, Mark, Martin, Michael, Nick Stover, Steve Locke, Steven, and Tyler. There you go. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what's in there. Thanks. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no trades, so the list that you saw just a few moments ago remains the same. Now, let's pop this case open here. And let's see who we got. All right, there's the first full-size helmet. gonna be we put player's name on here we're just gonna have to guess oh it's on the inside Kind of see the color right there. I'll show you in just a second. Let's see who got this. Who am I? I'm a retired defensive end. Hall of Famer. This is a Hall of Fame edition. Hall of Famer. 854 tackles. 141 and a half sacks. Four interceptions. 24 forced fumbles. Played... Uh, for one team my entire career. I was drafted in the second round, 40th overall, out of Texas Southern College. Uh, I don't know how many other Hall of Famers they have. 
but it's pretty good. One Super Bowl champion, seven-time Pro Bowler, two-time NFL sacks leader. He's pretty incredible. Um, NFL Defensive Player of the Year, 2000s All-Decade Team, 100 Sack Club, so on and so forth. Yeah, mix up. You got it. It's for you. Martin. With Michael Strahan. Nice. That's a cool full-size helmet. There's Strahan's autograph right there. You got the JSA. There's a JSA card inside here, too. That's pretty awesome. You even got the New York Giants badge right up on front here. These are good-looking helmets. Let's, let's look at this guy here. Who am I? I'm a retired football player. I'm a Hall of Famer. It's all Hall of Famers. I'm a retired football player. Played for two teams my entire career. A one-time Super Bowl champion. A one-time Super Bowl MVP. Career 3,762 passing attempts. Over 1,800 completions. 50.1 50, 50 completion percentage, 173 touchdowns to my 220 interceptions, 27,663 passing yards with a passer rating of 65.5. I'm in the Hall of Fame. I was, in, I was a Rookie of the Year, two-time Most Valuable Player, a one-time NFL Passing Touchdowns Leader, Passing Yard Leader, Comeback Player of the Award winner, a Pro Bowler. First overall in both the NFL and the AFL. And I won Super Bowl three, guarantee. Chris Watson, there you go, Chris. Nice, it's Joe Namath, Tyler Brenner with Joe Namath. Need a little more room here. There you go. And this nice crisp white helmet right here. There's the JSA card. Wow, big autograph too from Joe Names. Good job, Joe. Huge autograph right there. Nice looking helmet. Old school Jets logo. The JSA sticker on the back right there. So I can get the focus on it. And the accompanying card right here. Very nice. Nice one. Congrats to Tyler. He was looking Tim Brown. He's getting Joe Namath instead. 
Congrats, Tyler. Two more to go. Yeah, all the old school guys seem to have really good penmanship. All right. Next Hall of Famer. to this person here. All right, next Hall of Famer is a cornerback, 42 years old, Played for three teams my entire, well, really two teams my entire career. 12-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro, an inter interceptions leader, part of the NFL 2000s All-Decade team, part of this team's uh, ring of honor. 908 tackles, three quarterback sacks, 203 passes defended, 52 interceptions, seven forced fumbles. Hall of Famer. Man, I hated this guy. As a Raiders fan. Yep, McSub, you got it. Nice. Right out of the gate. It's Champ Bailey. Played with the Redskins for from 1999 to 2003. Then played a bulk of his career with the Broncos. This should be a Broncos helmet. Yeah, it's a Broncos helmet. There you go. Another big autograph right there. Got the Broncos badge on the front. These full-size helmets are really cool. There you go. Yeah, what gave it away, Mixel? That was a fast guess. The three, really two teams. Yeah, he played for, he was signed with the Saints, I think, for, as according to Wikipedia, in 2014, but was just a practice squad Guy, well, I'm not, maybe not even a practice squad guy. Maybe he just didn't. Yeah, he just didn't make the final roster. Was released in late August, in 2014. But sort of an unceremonious end to this Hall of Famer. He's pretty good. Oh, there's the Beckett card right there too. Nice. That's Alec Harrison with the Champ Bailey spot. And the final helmet coming up. All right, final helmet. Yeah, yeah, my, my, my hand started to feel feel uh, feel like the acidic heat of that evil evil Broncos helmet, Mike Tower. All right, let's see who this one is. Okay, another Hall of Famer. These are all Hall of Famers. Oh, this Hall of Fame edition. All right, this is a very old school dude. Is he still, I think he's still alive. Mm -hmm. 
Very old school dude. He is, who am I? Um, I'm an 84 year old kicker. Played for one team my entire career, a Super Bowl champion. A kicker with 3,711 rushing yards, 50 rushing touchdowns, 1,480 receiving yards, 12 receiving touchdowns. I was also a 47.1% field goal kicker. And 97.9% .9 on extra points. I could do it all. 84 years old right now. Out of Notre Dame, number one pick in the 1957 NFL Draft. He's still with us. I think a lot... No, he's not with us. He passed away in November. That's right. He passed away at 84 in November of 2020. He also played basketball at Notre Dame. Pro Football Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer. What did he do after his playing career? Oh yeah, he, he was a kind of a kind of a fast living kind of guy. Yeah, Chris Watson's got it. Paul Horning. Horning's penchant for high living proved disastrous in 1963 when a major scandal erupted in Horning and another one of league stars, Alex Karras, suspended football from football indefinitely. All right, was that a for betting on NFL games an association with undesirable persons? They were reevaluated and then both reinstated in March. Horning's image went untarnished. Did some uh, did some radio, did some TV, I think. This helmet out here looks like old Notre Dame colors. Yeah, got the big golden helmets right there. There's his autograph. We got the Irish tab right there. Let's slide this out. Jarrell Taylor, how's the Paul Horning? There's the JSA sticker. There's the JSA card and his autograph. Pretty cool stuff. There you go. Nice four uh, helmet break, full size helmets, pretty awesome stuff. Thanks, Gold Rush. Thanks, everybody, for getting into this action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.